setting sail for one of Scotland's islands can feel like sweeping into another world. Along the west coast, ferries are like motorways, vital links connecting communities. We headed to Isla, known as the Queen of the Hebrides. The jewel in her crown is whisky. After a slump in the 1980s, distilleries here are booming again. But there's a problem. Breakdowns, cancellations and chaos. Islanders say Scotland's ferry service is in rolling crisis. Two degrees set to start with. Over a third of vessels in the Calmac fleet are beyond their average life expectancy. The company says it works hard to ensure people complete their journeys. But when ferries are disrupted by repairs, so too is the vital flow of visitors and barley tankers on and off Scotland's Whiskey Island. It's been getting worse over the last sort of five or six years. And certainly in the last year and a half, two years, it's got to crisis point. And what's going on in here? So we're mashing in here. I think this is the second water going on. Anthony's distillery prides itself on traditional methods and creates local jobs for young people who want to stay on their island. But the ferry fiasco has caused huge frustrations. In June last year, the, the whisky industry on Isla was three days from shutting down because of not being able to guarantee to get our supplies onto the island. And that would have been an absolute scandal. I mean, if that had happened anywhere else in the country, uh, it wouldn't have been allowed to happen. But it, it, it was allowed to get to that point here on Isla simply because the ferries couldn't be guaranteed. I think that's what's so frustrating for everybody who lives here, all the way up the islands on the west coast of Scotland and in the highlands as well, that we don't appear to have a voice when it comes to big issues. Tourism is the lifeblood of Scotland's islands. Emma Clark's guest house attracts visitors from all over the world. Walnut cake. It is, like a villain in walnut cake. So a whiskey cake then, A whiskey really. cake. Oh, everything. <laughs> Come on, you're on Isla. <laughs> Our biggest fear is that I think we've formed a habit now of Calmac bashing and uh, ferry bashing. Do we have an ideal service? Absolutely not. The service at the moment is poor and the resilience isn't there. But on days like today, with the weather amazing and, and coming to such a beautiful island, it's, it's worth that journey. And I think what I want everyone to remember is this negative impact of, of the publicity that's going out just now will last for 10 years. I made this ship the Isle of Isla. Six new ferries are being built for Scotland's fleet. This one for Isla launched in Turkey a few weeks ago. On time and on budget, it's due to arrive in October. That is a stark contrast to what's been happening on the River Clyde, famous for its shipbuilding past. Alex Salmond announced the deal to save Ferguson Marine Shipyard in Port Glasgow just before the independence referendum. It then won an ill-fated contract to build two ferries in 2015. Two years later, Nicola Sturgeon was celebrating the launch of the Glen Sanex. But this wasn't really a launch, or really a ferry. The windows had been painted on. The two vessels here are now six years overdue and expected to go four times over budget, costing taxpayers more than £400 million. Ferguson Marine was nationalised in 2019 after going bust. I'm, I'm still in the hot seat. Its chief executive, David Tideman, who spoke at the Scottish Parliament last month about rising costs and delays, was sacked today by the company's board, who say they're seeking strong leadership. Is David Tideman simply a scapegoat for Scottish government incompetence? The decisions about the management of Ferguson's is the lead for the board of Ferguson's. My role as Cabinet Secretary for Transport um, is to ensure that we have a ferry service that the islanders need. Which Scottish Government Minister has ever been held accountable for this scandal? There have been inquiries by the Scottish Parliament, not least the Rural Affairs. Uh, um, Who's resigned? So, and well, you, you, you've done your research, you know the situation. Nobody's you know, resigned. You know the responsibility. I'm angry that the islanders are not getting the vessels Who's that they need. And that I, I, put, I put that squarely at the responsibility of the management at Ferguson's. Ferries built in Turkey will start serving Scottish communities before ferries being built in Scotland. Do you find that embarrassing? that our procurement has secured six new vessels which will be delivered by 2026. No new ferries will be ready in time for the summer season, 
and there's no sign of the sun setting on a scandal which islanders continue to bear the brunt of.